book, Revelation chapter 11, verse 2. But the court, which is without the temple, leave it out. Revelation 11 and 1. There was given me a reed like unto a rod. A reed, an example of it, is a corn stock, which in the ancient times men have used it to write. Ink pen, the ancient ink pen. It was a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood saying, Rise and measure the temple of God. That means rise, which is the remnant, and teach the remnant of the Israelites. Hey. Hey, back up. Oh, I'm working on it. Revelation 11 and 1. And the angel stood saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar of them that worship therein. Verse 2. But the court which is without the temple be out. Measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles. So our job is to teach the remnant of our people, not teach these other nations, which are inherently wicked, not teach two thirds of our people. Now we don't know who they are. We can't have just someone come up and, and just because you look, you look like Chinese, you look Japanese, or like an Arab, that you're automatically a heathen. Like these other camps do, scriptures say, to try the spirit by the spirit. We're not saving nor sealing anybody. Our job is to just speak the word, and those who hear it will hear it. The truth will ultimately uh, reach unto them. Which is why the Most High God has set up these various camps to show you you are Israelites, to show you that that, that, that great fire is coming. Although they're not telling you the whole the whole hundred percent truth. And he has set up the apostles last unto death. As it were unto death by the foolishness of preaching. Scripture said we endure all things for the elect's sake. So the mockings, the, the, the scourges, that's part, we don't give a damn about that. We don't give a damn if we die in thermonuclear fire. Because we try and that's it. That's all we're doing. We're trying. We're like dust and ashes. At the end of the day, Revelation 11 and 3, 11 and 2, but the court which is without the temple, be out, and measure it not, for it is given to the Gentiles, the holy city, shall they tread on their foot forty and two months. Which is 350 years, prophetic years. 1619, 1969, when the truth came out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, and continued through the elders and apostles of Great Bell Stone, who have labored for decades and decades, and I've been telling you the RFID chip is coming, World War III is coming. And these days, there's new uh, revelations, new understandings, new, new signs, new wonders being shown. Scriptures say in Daniel chapter 12, the knowledge will increase in the latter days. First Corinthians chapter seven, verse nineteen. Circumcision is nothing. And also circumcision is nothing but the keeping of the commandments of God. So the commandments of God is not just the Old Testament, it's not just the New Testament. It's a combination of the old and the new, because the new contains what the old says. So you have the measuring reed, things written for our understanding, or a measuring stick, 
the ancient ruler, and today is the law and the prophets, the Old Testament and the New Testament, which all go hand in hand. Which is why the scriptures say, the most like God said what? Obey my voice. It was never about burnt offerings. It says in the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 20. Jeremiah 7 and 22, the New Living Translation. When I led your ancestors out of Egypt, it was not burnt offerings and sacrifices I wanted from them. This is what I told them, obey me. My voice, and I will be your God. You will be my people. Do everything as I say, and all will be well. <laughs> Jeremiah 7 and 24. But well, my people would not listen unto me. They kept doing whatever they wanted, following the stubborn desires of their evil hearts, which we all ultim ultimately fell off into the ways and of the so-called white man, the ways of this new world, which we are in today, which is known as America, Babylon, the Great. <clears throat> but now the Most High God is calling back a remnant of his people to seek the understanding, to seek the prophecies, to watch for the signs of the coming of the Son of Man, of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 25. From the day your ancestors left Egypt until now, I have continued to send my servants the prophets day in and day out. But my people have not listened unto me or even tried to hear. They have been stubborn and sinful, even worse than their ancestors. Jeremiah 7 and 28. Say to them, this is a nation whose people will not obey the Lord their God, and he refused to be taught. The truth has vanished from among them. It is no longer heard in their lips. Gentiles by his ministry. When they heard it, 
to glorify the Lord and said unto him, Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews there are which believe, and they are all zealous of the law. Jew is a byword. It pertains to a man named Judah. It pertains to one tribe. Christian is a byword. A sect of the Nazarenes, which they called Paul, part of the sect of the Nazarenes. These are bywords. The book of James says, Do they not blaspheme that worthy name by the witcher of Kong? Which that name is what? Israelite. Acts 21, 21. They are informed of thee, that thou teachest all the Jews, which are among the Gentiles, to forsake Moses, saying that they ought not to circumcise their children, neither to walk after the customs. What is it hereafter the multitude must needs come together, when they will hear that thou art come? That's talking about the Jews that are among the Gentiles. The same nation. We all fell to a Gentile state of mind. The scriptures say that a remnant will return. So right here what? Prophesied the coming of the RFID chip. Martial law, FEMA camps. World War III, which is coming to America, Babylon the Great. Right here calling back a remnant of the so-called black. Hispanic and Native Americans to seek the most high God while he still may be found. Call upon his name, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and seek the prophecies of the Holy Bible, the so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Chapter 10, verse 8. 
So I rack to the name because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another because of the so-called white man's iniquities. There has to be a change. The Most High God is going to forward that through a remnant waking up and declaring the end from the beginning. And then the prophecies being made manifest, which is happening now. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But then when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. So ultimately, you are the nations will rejoice after this great destruction. You will keep the law, statutes, commandments, be under, serve the Israelites. But two thirds of our people have to be destroyed on this side because they love this world. They love this road, this re this re reincarnated road. They love the so-called white man. They trust in man. They don't trust in God. the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 13. 